Hello everyone and welcome to Original Murano Glass. We're here in our glass um, shop, an amazing showroom where we have on display all our amazing items from our glass furnace. And today, uh, I said the last time we're going to do a few episodes about uh, techniques and today is uh, one of the techniques dearest to my heart and it's the technique of Murina glass. Murina and matcha, I'll explain all about it but for now I would like you to welcome you all. Uh, we are original Murano glass and what we're doing today I'm going to show you some of our amazing pieces and then obviously if you're in Murano in the island of the glass making in, in Venice just come and visit us you have the the joy of experiencing our amazing showroom and purchase all the item or if you're far away and that's why we're making this live shows actually you can also go online to our website originalmuranoglass.com and access all these beautiful items uh, through our online store which features more than 3,000 pieces of artwork made in the amazing Isle of Murano and made in Italy. So original piece made by hand by the glass masters. It's an experience of a lifetime. So if you want to go also view them, if you're curious, just go. Marco, my amazing cameraman, he's always with me during these lives. We'll put the link uh, so you can access it at the end of the live show. You'll also be able to access the item that you see today directly. So if you're listening, let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts, so I know the sound is okay because then we need to make sure everything is good. And Marco will give me some feedback on that. And also, please feel free to write on the comment section if you like a piece, if you want me to focus on something maybe you see behind the scenes or something you see uh, today with me. So welcome to all of you. And so today we're going to talk about murinas and everything that entails this amazing technique that actually is uh, very complex because it uh, features many different uh, stages of work. And uh, I will show you an end piece and the end result of all this work by the glass master will be something like this. Now you can uh, appreciate all the details, the intricacy of the work and see how many details there are. So your question could be that how can they fit? so many amazing little patterns inside a vial like this and also just this just one of so you also have this amazing centerpiece for your table also if you can Marco will show you see how intricate the design is and how the different patterns are actually embedded within the glass matrix so how do they actually do this our glass masters very um, is one of the techniques that almost intrigued me the most when I was young um, and I was able to see the glass make, uh, masters make it themselves so um, it's pretty exciting. So first of all we have to start from somewhere which is something which is the glass cane. So this is the start of all the work. Glass canes or glass rods are usually this would be a um, well, very lovely little design. These are made of glass. They look like hard candy. I don't know if you ever see like candies being made, but the technique is pretty similar. So the glass masters are able to, through creating layers, like add up and create this design inside a glass cane. They start from a core, a core of one, uh, they started with the red core, obviously, of red glass, which was then um, put into a mold and shaped. And then with time, they layered it over with different colors, creating this amazing pattern. So this cane, for example, if you view it from the side, you wouldn't see the design. So these are made on purpose so that then you can cut through sections of the glass cane. And then you can use the pattern, like little, see little, like little puzzles pieces, like this. And you can use them for um, different designs. But um, the glass cane themselves also need to be made. So the glass cane making process was also very extraordinary. So they need to put all these layers um, inside one another. And then the glass masters, usually there need to be two of them at the time present because to do that. And I have to pull this like melted uh, glass and pull it so long that then a glass cane is formed. So obviously all glass canes don't have the same thickness throughout. So this is a lovely example a swirling one and you can appreciate how you know thick the end point is because this is where from the, the glass master were pulling it with their rods and then obviously in the middle part they have a section which is much thinner which is usually used because it's more consistent in its diameter and also you see you have different ones available so you have the ones with different designs so this would be more like a flowery little design very cute 
also different thickness, so we, they can create different patterns once next to each other. And also you have the filigree one, where like a, a transparent rod is colored, so you can appreciate the, the pattern more on the outside than from the inside, because the inside is a transparent glass cane, see? And also there's different ways to use this amazing glass cane. They can also be uh, used by torch glass, so they can hand sculpture objects. But in the case of Murinas, what they do, and, and we'll see a video that actually shows you exactly what they do. They can put the different parts that have been cut from a Murina uh, rod, put them next to each other, a lot of different one, and they usually put it in a small plate uh, of metal plate, which then allows these uh, lovely pieces of glass to be um, to melt together and form like a, a little sheet of uh, glass, which has different designs. And then those are used. These little like melted glass um, sheets are then used to be embedded inside um, a core of transparent glass, achieving this beautiful result as I was showing you earlier. And obviously the. Um, as the glass master uses the technique of glass blowing, he's able to shape the piece, and also um, the shaping of it will allow the, the marinas inside the, the matrix to expand. So you will see marinas that are more expanded. Like, for example, this is a beautiful vase that features marina pieces, but by glass blowing, you can tell the piece of marina would, would have been maybe small, like, a, like the ones I showed you before, have now expanded to a bigger diameter. And all of these pieces, because they obviously the pattern that I used to create and the glass cane that I used are all unique, each and every piece of Murina glass sack with all Millefiori pieces, like when they also have a lot of like little like design patterns to like um, create like flower patterns like this one. So pieces like Millefiori, there's, each and every one is unique. So there's no piece like the others because obviously the, the creativity, uh, there's no end to creativity at this point because you can, uh, the Maglas Master can mix various different types of flower patterns or heart shape patterns or little murinas or glass pieces or glass cane, creating like each piece and uniquely um, delivered so that one piece is like no other. So if you like something, like I always say, it's time we do a live. So if you like something that I'm showing you today, make sure uh, you let us know because if we can tell customer service to keep it on the side for you or you can go to our online shop at originalmuranoglass.com and you can actually go and view it online so you can also see the details of the height, the weight. Obviously to remember we always do like um, we do ship everywhere worldwide uh, but just to know the uh, maybe the quotes for it if you need to understand whether there's tax to be paid for the, um, the customs just write up to our customer service that was always helpful and they will able to tell you all the details about it. Um, but what else? So obviously the glass came transform like into these beautiful pieces. Maybe Ma Marco, we can show them a little bit of the video. So it shows us the pattern. So instead of just looking at me and on just lovely pieces, Mark, we'll show you a video that tells you exactly and you can really appreciate all the hard work and details that goes into it in order to create those pieces. Give me a second. See, all the small pieces are put next to each other and then put inside the, the furnace where they melt. And then the core of the glass is then put, put through it and they basically stick to the very hot glass. And then the master needs to work the piece so that these patterns stick uh, without leaving any air bubbles underneath. So they need to like hand sculpture all throughout. They reheat it again, so it really, really merges it all together and then further work the piece so they can really become a smooth service, surface and create a beautiful piece at the end. And you can appreciate like, how much like, creativity can go into this because all the colors are different, so the patterns are different. Also here using the gla uh, glass blowing technique is giving more uh, the final shape that the glass master is looking forward to create. And all this work, it's a, an extremely long process. I can, I can ensure you <laughs> it's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of training involved. And even our, our glass furnace under, downstairs, you can come and see all the work that actually goes into one single piece. 
So as the, they use the right tools, they can create these pieces. This is a Miller Fury piece, which um, then needs to be further worked and uh, create. Uh, and here they're creating the opening for the vase. How amazing. It's always mesmerizing to see them work. It's incredible. And the details of the, of the shaping also is chosen by the glass master, but it need, they need to work with the type of glass they use. So this is a Mille Fiori pattern, lots of different daisies and different colors. And the end piece, after hours and hours of cooling, here it is, the beautiful island over the beautiful son of Murano. And I think it's just mesmerizing. As I'm always... Um, so stunned and, uh, by the, how much work it goes into one single piece. And this is for all the pieces that we have here at our uh, glass uh, showroom here at the original Murano Glass. But um, I was thinking, you see the vase, you see some uh, centerpieces, some bigger pieces, but what if you want to buy something maybe for your dining table? So um, I would like to show you some glasses. And as part of our glass collection, obviously you have different technique, but here you can see the little rod we were showing you earlier with the heart. So these, um, the marinas are very flexible and uh, can be inserted into different uh, pieces of artwork. In this case, all our glass sets comes with a, a little carafe, always handmade, which resonate with all the pieces because it has like embedded marina cuts inside it. And also the coloring, um, it's uh, special because it's uh, via a technique called um, matcha. Uh, matcha is actually the Venetian word that means glass, uh, the color stain. It's a stain on your clothes usually, but in the glass world, the matcha means it's a process where the glass masters use a, a specific powder. Uh, actually, it's like glass, uh, it's a glass powder, a colored glass powder. And that powder is used to be embedded within the matrix of the transparent glass in order to give coloring to the glass. So we have different matcha um, present. So this would be a more traditional one. See, the glass sets are also very beautiful, beautiful because they have different colorings. And I love this set particularly because all the glasses have different colors. So usually at the dining table, I always choose my favorite color. And so we don't fight for our glass with my sister. And then uh, obviously you can see the whole like um, set has like the white, the yellow, the blue, the and the ye light yellow as well, and the carafe as I was showing you earlier. This is it. So this uh, both technique of being used, both the in the embedding of the marinas within the glass matrix and the matcha technique has been used to give it the it's uh, the color, the final color. So it's uh, an extremely intricate and complex um, technique that requires a lot of like a lot of steps. Um, and it's one of my favorite ones because it allows the, the colors to be very vibrant. But if you're looking for something a bit more simple with less coloring, I think also this style could like cater for you. I'll show you just two of the colors, so similar. So the matcha coloring has only been used at the base and the marina has been embedded for the rest of the glass. So as you can tell, there's lots and lots of different variations available. I mean, the the, the Options are endless. If you want, maybe prefer more of a classic look, you have the Mille Fiori style. So see with all the different like um, Mille Fiori or the little marinas embedded within the glass matrix. And the carafe is the same. Or if you like something a bit more colorful and a bit more bright, this is it. This is a quite particular technique. There's not only you have the matcha coloring going throughout the whole of the glass, but you also, they put this like shine uh, reflect, this metal effect, which so it looks like it's like a silver. It's very beautiful. They are fit to be used with wine, water. Um, they can wash in the wash, um, dishwasher. So they're not as delicate, so they're quite sturdy, so you can use them uh, daily. And not only they, they can decorate your table, but can be also an accessory to your like uh, shelves. And uh, they can not only serve you for your glasses or to drink, but also as beautiful pieces of artwork you can display at your table or on your um, cupboards. Truly amazing. Um, I would say I'll show you a few more um, techniques that can be used to like create 
um, with the glass canes. Back to our little table. Well, obviously you have the lovely perfume uh, bottle. They have the Murina technique again with like uh, different shapes and sizes. Again, you can check online for what suits you best. And if you want other options, maybe you want a different color for the little pump, we can accommodate that. But also the glass can can be placed next to each other to create a different pattern. So it's not this case, but if you put all the glass cane next to each other, then you see you can create a pattern. And similar to the Murina glass cuts, if you place all the glass canes in a um, horizontal, you can create like a, a plate, where, which then is then embedded into the, uh, into the transparent glass and make this beautiful, beautiful effect. So this beautiful set of little vases, you see them here. This is my favorite, I have a thing for purple and pink. First of all, these are beautiful objects to keep in your house. Uh, you can hold flowers, it can just be a decoration, but they're beautiful, beautiful gift ideas. Remember, here at Original Murano Glass, we will also offer an engraving, uh, an engraving uh, service, so if you want to write maybe a quote on the side of the vase, and then maybe it's a gift for, for a wedding or an anniversary, we can do that as well for you. So just let our customer service know. it will be happy to accommodate that. But as you can see, the color uh, options are endless. This is a very classic, um, intense blue and red um, vase. Very beautiful. And obviously you can contrast, this is, has a bit more contrast. It's a bit dark, uh, intense dark uh, black with uh, red and yellow. Very, very classic. Or you can go for a bit more modern. So you see the, the marinas can be added in different ways and expanded in different ways. So this is the si similar technique, but instead of having long canes to do that, they use smaller ones to create this amazing pattern that's being embedded in this like, very complex piece. See all the filigrain canes, the marina insertions that have expanded by the technique used for glass blowing. And all of the side. Also, this is a bit more complex because they used also a grinder, uh, the wheel, the grinding wheel to create this also this texture of a, like opaque and it's not as smooth as the original. This is a second phase um, technique where the glass masters are able to shape and give a different texture to the glass. Molatura is called. Very, very beautiful. Again, all the results are endless, but um, also the objects are endless. So, for example, in this lovely uh, couple, you can see also glass. Um, the glass has been enriched in, uh, with this like uh, golden leaf um, insertions, which have made um, the marina even more precious. And this is a, it comes as a couple, right, Marco? Yeah. So these are a little couple you can purchase online also in our online shop. Beautiful. And this Goldoniane, oh, the Goldoniane couple, yes, Goldoniane. It comes from the Goldoni uh, era, era, the comedy of art. So they would dress very embellished. Obviously, they wouldn't wear glass clothes. <laughs> but in our, in our, uh, when we picked this like um, couple and uh, our glass master made them, they wanted to recreate the Goldonian feeling, obviously, and then the gold made everything more uh, beautiful and precious. All of these are hand sculptured, by the way. Yeah? Pieces like this need a lot of training. The glass masters are very, very skilled at hand creating all this movement, all these fine details are hand sculptured by the glass master with different tools. So they're truly a true piece of art. Really, really, a lot of work goes into these. And they have to cool in a certain ways before they touch them, otherwise the glass uh, can break. On a different, uh, different item, but a similar, uh, different technique, but a similar concept, you have this beautiful centerpiece. So again, here like, you have multiple techniques being used. So you have the, the marina that's been embedded and then um, they have expanded as the dish uh, was taking shape. You have the use of glass canes. You have a filigree with the, the bubbles entrapped. Uh, which we spoke about in the last episode when we um, spoke about Sofiato. 
and also the, the color uh, patterns are much different. So all of these like, pieces are truly uh, beautiful and also depends on the style, what, what you're going to decorate. I mean, for center like tables, um, these are magnificent. They truly capture the light, it catches your eyes when you walk in and see a piece like this. It's truly unique. And talking about unique, remember that each and every piece at original Murano glass, uh, when they're delivered at your door and shipped to you, they come with a certificate of authenticity. So you're super sure that what you're buying is not just made in Italy, but is original from the island of Murano, is made by the glass masters. It's very, very important, because I know there's a lot of controversy about pieces not being original, and every, in each single piece that we have in our shop, we, we actually uh, create in this amazing island, so we want you to know that this is original. And uh, obviously for those who like, uh, maybe this will go very well in a farm, I don't know, <laughs> maybe someone wants to have, um, a bit of a decoration. This is like colored by the matcha technique I was explaining earlier where the, the, the flakes of uh, colored glass are mixed together and then embedded in transparent glass. And they um, give this lovely color which you can see underneath all the layer of the glass. It's the layering in pieces like this that makes you understand how much work goes into it. See, they had to like then add an extra part to the transparent, um, to the colored glass to make this transparent neck, and uh, also the details in red, all handmade in the furnaces of Murano. Very different, but also very uh, unique. This lovely, um, this lovely glass boat. Obviously, marina insertions at the front, um, a bit more classical in shape. You know, Venice is very famous for its uh, boat making tradition, but why not having uh, an amazing glass sculpture that reminds you maybe of a trip or good memories that you had here at Murano with us? And then we can go into the smaller object. I know, so maybe in Venice is so warm, but the, you know, it's uh, nearly October, so there is a little bit of a talk about Christmas. So some, we still haven't displayed some of our Christmas decoration. And again, both the matcha and the marina technique have been used to create these beautiful patterns on the beautiful uh, Christmas balls. Uh, also the glass canes over here. So you see how intricate it is. I love these ones. They look like, like candy. really like them. And these are definitely suitable for uh, engraving maybe messages like uh, Merry Christmas or, you know, Happy uh, Holidays or maybe a loved ones. What a unique gift this could be to send a lovely uh, Christmas ball to maybe your loved one so they can add them to, your, to their collection. And obviously, uh, Marina not only have been used to create object and matcha uh, technique and only, not only are able to create beautiful vases and glassware and sculptures and Christmas decorations, but they're always uh, very uh, often used to create uh, smaller jewelry like the one I'm carrying today. See, when the small like cuts of glass are melted together and then sh shaped, they create these beautiful patterns. They create very beautiful, unique uh, jewelry. I love the one I'm wearing, the contrast with the glass, they're all glass beads. The, the black, the orange, the white, the black again, it creates, it resonates with the pattern used uh, to create the Murina pattern. But uh, obviously there's so much to choose from, so just go onto our online shop and check whether there's something that, uh, that you might like, that you might love, not only for yourself, maybe as a gift, anniversary gift, um, some Valentino's coming up, or maybe a birthday present. Um, and what I would like to finish off with, um, there's many things. So we've seen the glasses, maybe the ones maybe that I showed you are a bit more complicated, but see, it again, the marinas can be embedded anywhere. So there's like different options available. Just have fun. Go online and check our website and let us know if you've seen something you like. I'm sure there's like something for everyone. And... Um, 
I think, what do you think, Mark? There's anything more that you would like to, I don't know if anyone wants to see something special, or I think for today it's all. And uh, I would like to thank you for being with us. Uh, if you want to write a comment, if you like something in particular, we get back to you. Marco will add all the details and all the links to so go and view the items that you saw together with me um, here at our showroom in Mur um, Murano. Uh, we are original Murano Glass. Thank you for being with us, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.